Section 6.1.31 Homework For a multi-state lottery, the following probability distribution represents the cash prizes of the lottery with their corresponding probabilities. We're going to complete parts A through C below. First part is asking us, if the grand prize is 12 million, find and interpret the expected cash prize. And then we're going to answer the question, if a ticket costs $1, what is your expected profit from one ticket? Now here is our um, distribution here. Okay, so we need to look at this. So this grand prize is gonna be replaced with 12 million. So let's go ahead and take a look at that here. So here is our distribution. So we have 12 million, multiplying it by that probability to give us the result here. Okay, we're gonna take each individual cash prize and multiply it by the probability. Now, there's a quicker way of being able to do this by using StackCrunch. And so I'm going to open up this data into StackCrunch. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this back up so that we're going to use our StackCrunch data. Now, if you notice, we have the values in here for the cash prize in the first column. And then we have the probability in the second column. Now, we want to create a third column. And then by doing that, is we can go ahead and then compute an expression. So we're going to go to data, compute, and then an expression. And now the expression that we want to build is the following. So we're going to select build. Okay, the first column is the cash prize. So we're going to just go ahead and click on that. And you see how it clicks up here. Then we need to add an operation. Well, we're going to be multiplying these two columns together. So I'm going to select the multiplication sign. And then I want to multiply it by the probability. So I'm going to select the probability and therefore now I have the formula to be able to then find out what these values are. So I'm going to select OK. Now that I have my expression and now I'm going to select um, compute. I'm going to call this the X uh, times. So I'm going to put times or we'll just say X times the probability of X. So we have the column label. And then we're going to select Compute. Now if you notice, here's our new column, which is X times the probability. And if you notice here, it automatically multiplies and gives us the results of each individual item that we're multiplying by. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do in order to find the expected value is to then add these all up. So we can either add these all up manually or we can come in here and say, okay, I'm going to go to Stat. I'm going to go to Summary Stats and select Columns. Okay, and so I'm going to select the column that I just made, which is the third column here. And then what I want to do is I want to find the sum of that column. So I'm going to come down here and select Sum. Hit Compute. And therefore, there's my sum. You can see we have 0.32342848. So now I was able to do that. So now I have my expected value. So now my expected value, it says, what is the correct interpretation of the expected cash prize? Well, we need to round this because we're rounding this to cents. So therefore, the answer is going to be 32 cents. So on average, you will win 32 cents per lottery ticket. So we're going to go ahead and then answer that question over here. So again, we're rounding it to the nearest cent. So the expected cash prize is 0.32. Okay, now the next question says, what is the correct interpretation of the cash prize? Well, the correct interpretation is the following. We would say that, again, on average, you will win 32 cents per lottery ticket. So, therefore, we would say that, on average, you will win 32 cents per lottery ticket. Okay, and then the next question they want us to ask is, what is the expect expected profit? Well, in order to find the expected profit, again, if a ticket costs $1, what is your expected profit from one ticket? Well, to find your expected profit, we're going to subtract the cost of the ticket from the expected cash prize. So that means we're going to take 32 cents minus a dollar, which is going to equal negative 68 cents. Therefore, your expected profit from one ticket is negative 0 0.68. So therefore, looking at our result here, the expected profit from one ticket, or a $1, one $1 ticket is negative 0 
Now, to the nearest million, it says how much should the grand prize be so that you can expect a profit? So we need to figure out what happens when we don't know what the grand prize is. So we have to create a formula to do that. So we are going to use the same distribution that we created. The only thing is, is that we don't know what the grand prize is. So I'm going to show you down here what we have. Again, we have the same distribution, but now we have the grand prize. And we're going to call that G because we don't know what that is. Now, in order to find out what X times P of X is, we would take the grand prize and multiply it by that probability, which is what we have there. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to set up a formula. Okay, and that formula is if the expected profit is zero, this means that you would take the expected value mean, subtract one, and set it equal to zero. Okay, so what we have is the following. We know that if we wanted to find this expected value, okay, what we would have to do is to add all these multiplications up. So we would take G times the following plus 200,000 times the following and so on. That means we're going to add all these together and that's going to represent our expected mean, which is what we have here. Okay, and then what we would do is then we would subtract one. So if you look in our fourth step down here, we have the following values. We have that plus 200,000 times that probability and so on, which we have already done, but we're showing it as an equation because this is what we would get for the expected mean. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract one. Okay, and then we're going to set that equal to zero. So you can see how it's set equal to zero. Now we've already calculated these multiplications up here. And what I mean by that is we don't know what this multiplication is, but we know that we multiplied all of these together to get those results. So what that means here now is that we have this plus what we got, which is 0 0.072. Plus, plus each particular multiplication, right? And then we are going to then subtract that one to get zero. Okay, so again, the unknown is the value of G because we want to know what that grand prize is if the expected profit is zero. So therefore, we're going to have to add all these numbers up and then subtract one. Okay, so... What happens here is we're going to get the following. We, we still have uh, the following value, which is G times that probability. Okay, and so then when we calculate the following values, meaning that when we add all of these up, that are highlighted in yellow, and then we subtract that one, well, that gives us the following. It gives us minus 0 0.77701516, and again, we're setting that equal to zero. Now this becomes an equation, and we want to solve for the unknown for G. So this is G, again, times this prob probability minus this, this particular value. Now, we need to bring this over to the other side of the equal sign, so we're going to add it to both sides. So that means we're going to add this 0 0.77011516, and then we're going to add it to the other side, which is 0 plus 0 0.77011516. So now our next step is the following. We now have g times the following probability and then it's going to equal the value of 0 0.77701516. Now in order to solve for g we have to divide both sides by this probability. So we're going to divide both sides by that probability and when we do that when we divide both sides by that probability we get g which is equal to 0 0.77701516 
divided by 0 0.000000837. When we do that division, then we get the following number. We get G, which is equal to 92,832,917.08483. Now in the question, they want us to round this to the nearest million. And if we round this to the nearest million, we would round that to, well, we see 92.8, so this is 2, this is the million, so we're going to round this up to 3. So therefore, G is going to equal 93 million. So now, looking at our result for this part, you can see that to the nearest million, how much should the grand prize be so that you can expect a profit? Well, the answer is 93 million. And then the last question says, does the size of the grand prize affect your chance of winning? Well, the answer would be no, because your chance of winning is determined by the properties of the lottery and not the payouts.